Hi, this is Matthew May with QuickRegisterSEO.com and today I'm going to be talking about email marketing systems. I'm going to be talking about AWeber.com, GetResponse.com, Botic Self-Hosted Solution, and Sendy Self-Hosted Solution for email marketing, autoresponders, drip campaigns. Something you absolutely have to have for your website. It's been one of the most effective marketing tools I've ever had. Now, I've had years of experience with both GetResponse and AWeber. I've done a huge list with them over time. I've had problems. I've overcome them. And then I've also done uh, self-hosted solutions. I used Dark Breach. And now I've used, most recently, uh, Sendy and Motic self-hosted solution. So before I tell you which one's the best, hey, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below. Click the bell icon. Then you'll be the first to know whenever we get updates, new software, and new marketing videos. Okay, so which one of these uh, services are the best? All right, if you're just going to start right now and you're a beginner, AWeber. You notice I'm going to tell you right now what the best one is, and I'm going to tell you why later on, and I'm also going to give you my bulletproof uh, email marketing system that has been built on years of experience, so you can almost never get your account shut down, and so you can keep marketing and concentrate on your marketing, but that'll come later. But right now, if you just want to know what the best one, if you're a beginner, AWeber. Okay, it's simple, it's easy to use, everything is set up for you, you don't have to worry about self-hosting solutions, uh, which give you a lot of flexibility, but for a beginner who does not have much technical knowledge, AWeber is the simplest, it's better than GetResponse, you know, people have gone back and forth, I've used both, I've built huge lists with both, AWeber is best for a number of reasons, number one, it's much simpler to use, the GetResponse system is very clunky, this is, they've kept they've done something great is they haven't changed it that much so it's still super easy to use good deliverability and you can get started right right away there are other solutions out there but you need to get started right away building your list you can start with aweber and then you can maybe move to a self-hosted solution later on now if you are a little bit more tactical not a lot more technical technical but a little bit more if you know how to ftp if you know how to set up a mysql database you know a little bit about setting up PHP scripts, you don't have to be a programmer or anything. There is no comparison, okay? Because I spent hours on these things. Do yourself a, a, a service. Save hours of your life and pulling out your hair. Do not use Motic. Motic is free. It's an open source solution. I have it set up here on my server. It's got an unbelievable amount of features way more features than get response and way more features than sendy and way more features than than a weber but it is a nightmare to set up i'm pretty technical folks you know i'm not the most advanced technical but i've set up hundreds and hundreds of scripts i can do this stuff all right i pulled my hair out and i've gone around also and looked at other people who are um been using modic and guys who are way above me and they pretty much gave up you, uh, you can't do uh double opt-in with this it's almost impossible the amount of hoops you have to jump through to try to do a double opt-in campaign are just crazy so while it may have lots of features uh, it is a, a beautiful software it has beautiful potential if you just want to get going marketing forget it forget it unless you are a master php program and i'm talking you're a badass and you want to develop something of your own and use something as a base this would be great okay this would be great and you like spending hours on forums with other php programmers going over glitches and there are a lot of glitches to go over with this because even though it has lots of of of, of um, features there's a lot of glitches on real basic stuff like integrating with wordpress like getting a double opt-in you know th this thing will make espresso for you but you can't get a double opt-in list it, it's very difficult the the documentation is out of date it, it, because they're changing things already so this is good for a php programmer who just wants to tinker and wants to, could develop something fantastic because it's it really is fantastic software uh it's just kind of one big beta project i want to get to marketing all right now there are a lot of uh, solutions for self-hosted if you're doing self-hosted sendy i have been thrilled with sendy i've just set it up it took me a tenth of the time to set up it's very user uh, friendly. You can set up double opt-in very easily. Um, it uses Amazon SES for, for the, you have to apply with Amazon 
for that. I, but you can also use other SMTP services and it gives you a lot of flexibility and it is very easy to use. The forum is great. You can get, I've got answers to all my questions through the forum. And so if you know how to sell my, my SQL databases, you know how to set up a basic script. You have maybe your own VPS server. You don't have to be a programmer. You, you could set this up and you have a lot of flexibility with Cindy. Here is Sendy. It's a one-time fee of $59, $60. You get it immediately on download and you can start uploading this to your server. And I did with hardly any issues. There's a few, few, few things you kind of might have to tweak your server a little bit. They give you very clear instructions. It's about as clear and easy uh, as you can imagine for something that is self-hosted, which does require a little bit of a technical um, ability, though it's, it's totally doable. You can just follow the instructions. They also have a, a a service that will set it up for you as well quite reasonably so if you're looking for self-hosted don't waste your time on modic i know there's a lot of videos on modic they're a little bit older i know it's free this 60 dollars is the best 60 dollars you, you ever spent this 60 bucks that'll save you hours and hours of your life because i'm pretty determined and i worked i think i worked about 30 hours straight setting up three different installations of modic uh i wouldn't wish that on anyone uh, it, it is really glitchy and does not do a lot of the basics that Sendy does right away. And I've bought three licenses of Sendy and set it, set it up on different domains. Now, now I want to talk to you about um, GetResponse. Now, I used GetResponse.com for three years. And after three years with get response i developed a list of close to thirty thousand confirmed opt-in subscribers that means they subscribe and then they confirm so i had thirty thousand subscribers i was paying them 250 dollars a month it's a lot of money uh and all of a sudden out of nowhere i get this email and it says that they've terminated my account for an un uh, for unacceptably high ratio of unknown user balances okay um, basically when you go with an online service, they're supposed to deal with the bounces. They're so, that's why you pay them the money. They're supposed to deal with the undeliverables and delete them from your list. Uh, for some reason, they don't do it. They didn't do it correctly. And now this is my issue. So they deleted my account. I had all my forms set up. Um, it took me hours to, to reset everything up. And luckily I had some backups, you know, with, uh, Aweber and a couple other self-hosted solutions. But it can happen to you that you get your account deleted. And this has happened many times to people. So I got my account with getresponse.com shut down with the 30,000 contacts. They did give me my, they did give me my data back, which is great. Um, and it was because I was getting too many undeliverables, yet I had confirmed opt-in all my emails. So they should all be really good emails. But here's the thing that happens that can happen to you after a few years. So after say three years, you've got emails say from 2016, they can become invalid. That means that people no longer have those email addresses. Email addresses do not last forever. People cancel them, people neglect them, they die. And so you can be sending to addresses that were perfectly good when you they signed up for your service, but later on they become uh, undeliverable email addresses. The accounts no longer exist. And if you get too many of these on your Awebers or GetResponse or MailChimps or any of these online services, they will nuke you immediately because they have thousands of people on their servers and they cannot afford to have their IP addresses, uh, their IP addresses on blacklists, which will affect the deliverability of all the other services, uh, all the other customers that they have using their service. So even if you're paying $250 a month, even if you're paying $2,500 a month, they just can't have that and there's no mercy. They don't try to work with you. They don't give you suggestions on how to improve things. They don't do their job actually, which was to take care of those email addresses in the first places that were no good. But that's just the way the landscape is. So what do we do, okay? Once you start growing your business, you might want to consider a self-hosted solution. And what I'm doing is I'm, I've stopped all my emails. And now what I'm doing is I'm using a service called email list verify. 
which will go and re-verify all my emails. These are all double opt-in emails, confirmed opt-in emails, but it could so happen, just like I said, that they become bad and you need to find a way to get rid of those emails. So what I do is I upload these emails. Here's for just one of my newsletters, one of my lists. And see, I got 4,448 emails. And here's the analysis. You know, I uploaded them, they verify them. And 101 invalid, right? 19 unknown. They said that was the problem, unknown. I, they were good when they signed up or they couldn't have signed up. Duplicate, okay. Uh, disposable, that's those free throwaway email accounts go we don't want those spam traps whoa what's that here's something even worse that can ha what happened to you say you're, you're sending to people who were completely legitimate three years ago and it's a yahoo account and it becomes uh, no longer a a real account for a real person yahoo can say i want to make this a spam trap to trap spammers who collect email addresses and send to really old email addresses. And if you send to those emails, you get put on a blacklist, all right? So even if it was legit, you could be sending the spam traps. So this service will, will, will take, uh, take away all the invalid and all the spam traps. Now, what I'm doing is I'm taking my list, I'm re-verifying them, and then I'm using Modic, okay? And I'm setting up autoresponders. And I'm uploading the, the emails to the autoresponder services, um, autoresponder series, the drip campaign, that's what they call it, drip campaign, bit by bit. I'm not doing it all at once. So I divide it up into 100 each, and every day I upload 100 contacts. Again, these are people who already subscribed to my newsletter, all right? But I'm re-verifying and I'm uploading them and using Sendy. And like I said, with Sendy, it uses Amazon SES. I'm still waiting to be approved with them. But also I have another service, Elastic Email, which is really good, which provides SMTP service. So that way you're, you have a better chance of getting your emails delivered. Also, I can use the SMTP of my own domain. Now that gets to me to my bulletproof email marketing plan. What I've decided to do was to set up instances of Sendy on each of my websites. I have it for coolmarketingsoftware.com. I have it classifiedsubmissions.com. I have it for quick register SEO. And I'm going to do another one. I haven't done it yet for the freeadforum.com. Now, the reason I'm doing this is several reasons. I don't want to have all my email marketing in one place. And this is something you'll find as you get more successful. You can lose merchant accounts. You can lose PayPal accounts. I get people telling me they lost PayPal accounts all the time. You can lose web hosting for no fault of your own, folks. It's just the nature of the beast as you start growing your business. So you have to have multiple of everything and spread out the risk. It's more of a pain in the butt, but I've learned the hard way that you have to do it as you grow. And it's better if you do it proactively before something happens. So what I'm doing is I'm, I've got my Sendy autoresponders on each domain. I paid for a separate license for each domain. I have to pay for it, it's 60 bucks each time. But keeping in mind, I was paying $250 a month for GetResponse. This is well worth it and gives me way more flexibility and it's way safer. And I don't have anyone else controlling my data. I don't have anyone else controlling all of my email marketing, which is so important because I just want to concentrate on marketing. I don't want to have to keep resetting things up. So I've got Cindy on all these different domains and I'm using an SMTP service and I'm doing things bit by bit. I'm not sending out to all of them all at once. It's a good idea to have a longer term strategy. I want to get lots of people in the pipeline and I'm willing to be patient. I don't need it to have it happen all right now. So I'm gradually re-importing my re-verified list that I'm doing with email list verify into my Sendy installation. So they're really clean list. They were double opt-in to begin with and now they are re-verified and bit by bit, I'm getting them going, sending them my autoresponder emails that they originally signed up for. Uh, minus all the emails that are no longer good. So ho hopefully I won't have any problems with the SMTP service because my emails are, will be, you know, super verified and not coming in all at once at two. It's good not to have everything coming in from one, one domain. Uh, a lot of times that can cause, you know, red alerts to these blacklists and to they, they'll put you on it no matter what, just if too much volume is coming in. 
but a steady volume coming in from lots of different domains seems to get better email deliverability. Also, um, uh, I can use this with my own SMTP if I want. Um, my web hosting has its own SMTP, and if I'm doing low volume and I'm using um, the from email address is based on the same domain that I'm sending. So for example, if I'm sending from coolmarketingsoftware.com and my from email is info at coolmarketingsoftware.com, I know the deliverability is pretty good. So I still have the option of using my own SMTP service. I choose to use an outside SMTP service because the deliverability is still even better and they have really good ways of managing bounces and things like that, uh, which is kind of hard to do when you're using your, just own, your own SMTP. They kind of take care of that for you. But I'm not relying or rely on just one SMTP service. I'm working on getting a number of them. I'll use different ones on different sites. I'm spreading it around. Different installations of Sendy, different SMTPs, slowly grad rebuilding my lists. So I don't have to worry about getting torn down or getting complaints or sending to bad email addresses. And I can just concentrate on my marketing, not on all this technical stuff. So because this stuff took me hours. Uh, to do especially fooling around with modic that was a real time killer <laughs> I, I could have done it a tenth of the time with sendy so really if you're considering self-hosting I, I really recommend sendy sendy is not perfect they don't they have a few features that they could add but the essential stuff is there all right the essential stuff is there that you really need to start working on your campaign and they're adding on stuff all the time they seem to be pretty active the price can't be beat 60 bucks and uh, so I've got multiple licenses of that. So that is my journey uh, with GetResponse.com, Aweber.com, and Modic, and Sendy. And so it's something to think about. You know, if you're just beginning with email marketing, just go get Aweber, get started, start collecting email addresses. If you're starting to build a bigger list, you might want to start now proactively thinking about a self-hosted solution. It's a little more time up front, but you have a lot more flexibility and control over your own data and I will leave links to everything below um, and you can uh, check it out yourself and if you have other solutions that you've used email marketing solutions let me know please put that in the comments below and let me know and uh, I would really love to hear other solutions because there are a lot more options out there now than there used to be so if you have other solutions that you've liked or not liked I would love to hear your comments below. So I, I really appreciate it. This is Matthew May with QuickRegisterSEO.com. Uh, thank you so much.